I got a package. Welcome to this episode of Life in My Shoes. As I mentioned in the intro, I got a package from Amazon today, and I thought I would give you guys a peek into what I got and hopefully test it out for you. So let's open it up. We haven't even opened it up. <clears throat> and let's show you what I got. So I got a Renchidi Mini Hair Straightener Brush. Uh, so... Uh, I had been doing some research on getting a straightening brush for my beard, and this is the one that I got. The packaging is pretty decent. Um, there is a, a real high dollar one called the Kusel Bar that uh, I was wanting to get. <coughs> this was a fraction of the price, uh, and I wanted to unbox it for you. So here we go. Oh, there we go. There it is. So we got the power cable. And the actual straightener in a pouch. Um, there is also a glove that comes with it so I don't burn myself by chance. And then uh, the instructions. So I'm gonna pause it real quick, read over the instructions and make sure I know what I'm doing and then we're gonna give this bad boy a whirl. Hold on. So here we are, I'm back, here it is, the uh, Ranchiti um, brush. It is already warming up. <clears throat> I have it on, uh, I believe it's on 375, let's see. I just turned it off, I'm gonna turn it on. So it's at 375, I'm gonna give it a minute to heat up. And then we're going to give this bad boy a whirl. Okay, let's do a real quick <clears throat> overview of the product. So it has five temperature settings. It has 248, 302, 338, 375, 410. <clears throat> I have it set on 375. As it warms up, you hold it for about five seconds uh, and uh, the uh, it will come on and then you kind of you hit the button to select what temperature and what it does is this kind of this these lights roll and as it hits each temperature that light will stay solid and it'll continue to roll up to the temperature you're uh, desiring which in my case i picked 375. so um we're going to give it a whirl and see what it does so i've never used something like this before And by chance, um, or not by chance, because I knew this was coming today, I did not put product in my beard. This morning, so I did not put oil. All I did was to um, shampoo my beard and shower. I did not put in balm or oil. So under my chin, I get a lot of curl right there. I'm kind of, uh, I have this facing away from the mirror, so I'm kind of looking in the mirror so you can see me kind of off to the side looking in the mirror. Um, so I have a lot of body in my beard. So I have a lot of body that starts to happen as it gets longer. I'm about, I don't know, about two and a half, three months worth of growth right now. Um, and it usually in about a month and a half, I start to see some of the um, weirdness associated with the beard, which right in here, I can have a lot of curling. Um, I have, uh, you can still see kind of the, the ducktail I have there. Um, and um, so it starts to appear about a month and a half in when it starts to get a little longer. Uh, but um, I really feel like this is doing a pretty decent job of straightening it out. 
and uh, after the fact, um, I could apply a product to it. So um, <clears throat> you can kind of look at it from the before and after and tell me what you think. Um, it feels, and to me, it looks as if it's straightened it out some. I don't want to go too much over it because this is hot and it will dry out your beard. Um, and like I said, I don't have any products in it, so uh, it is already going to be dry. Um, so assessment, um, as I mentioned, I'm going to turn it off. Um, as I mentioned, the Kusel Bar is a $100 product, uh, and uh, that's the one I really wanted. But um, for the sake of uh, just trying out the, uh, a product to see if it would work, um, I went with something a little cheaper. Again, this is the, uh, I think it's Ranjidi. Um, What's well, about uh, 30, I want to say it was about 32, 29, 29 to $32 on Amazon. <clears throat> I specifically read reviews. It got uh, pretty decent reviews. I think it was a four, between a 3.5 and a 4.5-ish rating. Um, I specifically read through questions to see if it was recommended on beards and they were okay with it. Some of the uh, brushes they have online do not recommend you use them on your beard. So um, I wanted to make sure that I had one that it was at a decent rate and worked on the beard. So um, I would say this one works well. Um, I feel like it has straightened out and what I'll do is I'll apply product. So um, that'll probably be my routine is that I will straighten it out um, and apply product after the fact to kind of maintain that shape that it does. Um, but overall, I think this was a good price. Um, I think it's a, a decent product. I think if you've got a beard that needs uh, some assistance, if it can, especially when it gets longer, I think uh, most men as their beard gets longer is going to start to do some crazy stuff. Um, and I have a lot of body in my beard and it starts to do a whole lot of weird stuff. Uh, that needs to be controlled. So would I recommend this? Yes, I definitely would recommend this. Again, I have not tried the $100 product. Um, the uh, maker of the Kushal Bar <coughs> is a hairstylist and has a beard. So he designed the product specifically for beards and hair uh, as a hairstylist. So um, I know that one works for that, but this has been a decent product. I'm happy with it. Um, let me know, have you ever tried, if you have a beard, have you ever tried a beard straightener? Um, what are your thoughts? Um, have you tried this one specifically? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about this specific product, uh, let me know in the comments and I will come back to, and, let, and update you in the comments as I use this for a period of time. Again, this just arrived today. So um, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you next week.